Hi everybody, um, I'm here today to talk to you about the four most common types of hauntings in paranormal investigation. Um, so there's lots of different kinds of ghosts and um, and lots of really cool stories about all the different kinds of ghosts that there are, but there, there seems to be four types of hauntings that are most kind of accepted and most common within the paranormal community and we're going to kind of touch on each of them. Now I've done videos about some of these like individually in the past um, but some of them if you make a video about it you're either going to have to ramble on forever about your like personal experiences or theories um, or they're going to be like two minute long videos so we're just going to kind of briefly touch on each of them and, uh, and go from there. So the first one would be residual haunting. So a residual haunting would be something that is recorded in a space. So basically something traumatic happens or something repetitive happens and it records itself on a space or a location or a time. Now these can be um, the types of hauntings where you hear like a door close and boots kind of walk up some steps and then it stops and that happens like every night at 10 p.m. Possibly. Um, there was a residual recording on that location at that time because somebody in a previous lifetime um, came through the door at that time and walked up the stairs in their boots at that time. So usually people think that it has to be a traumatic event, um, but you don't really know for sure. Like it could be just anything, possibly like your repetitive actions that you go through every day. So every Sunday you do the laundry, you walk up and down the stairs at the same time. I mean, maybe you're leaving a recording of that practice in the house that you're living in and 10 years from now when you've moved on and somebody else has moved in they think that they have a ghost in their house that makes a loud thud every sunday at 3 p.m at the top of the stairs and that was just you dropping your laundry basket so it's kind of interesting there's um there's another theory that kind of goes along with this and it's called the stone tape theory um the idea is that something traumatic happens and it kind of shoots energy out into the space around it and this energy can be recorded on objects so in this case they said rocks um, but the idea is that it can be recorded on anything so say you have a picture on your wall something traumatic happens the energy is shot out it's recorded on this now this picture holds that recording which can replay when like the circumstances around kind of suit it so now you sell your picture to somebody else and they take it home and this recording plays out for them and then they think that they've now bought a haunted object. Is the object haunted? Like kind of, but not in the traditional like spirit attachment type of haunting. So it's kind of an interesting theory um, and it would go really well with a lot of the haunted object stories that you hear. That it's not necessarily some kind of intelligent spirit that's attached that's now like kind of preying on you but something is going on that is replaying so I find the stone tape theory very very fascinating so residual hauntings this is basically a film loop that plays over and over um, it's not intelligent you wouldn't be able to communicate with it that could get a little bit frustrating um, but that's the idea on residual hauntings so the second type of common um, commonly accepted type of um, paranormal activity would be intelligent hauntings. So these would be the ghosts that are aware. So these are spirits that are in a location, they know that they're a spirit, they know that they're dead, and they are able to communicate. So when you do the shave and a haircut and you knock on the wall and they respond back, that is an intelligent haunting. These are the ones that answer your questions. When you're doing EVPs and you ask a question and they reply back, that would be an intelligent haunting. You ask a question and you get what seems like a response but it doesn't make any sense. That might be a residual haunting that you just kind of captured on tape at kind of an odd time. But if you're asking questions and you're getting answers that go with the questions, you're probably dealing with an intelligent haunting and this is a location that you probably want to go back to over and over again to uh, to keep communicating with the spirits there and see like what they're up to and what they have to say and what's going on. The third type of haunting is poltergeists. So 
generally believe that poltergeists are actually humans. So humans are kind of projecting their energy out and it causes poltergeist activity. The energy has to go somewhere so it causes banging and things like that. Some people believe that poltergeist activity can be caused by a person, but the person sort of creates an entity with this energy that they're throwing out. Some people believe that poltergeists are just really angry spirits that like to pile things up. So there's a lot of different theories on poltergeist activity. Um, from my experience, from my thoughts and my opinions, is it is humans. We sometimes have so much energy within ourselves. If we are feeling anxious, if something is going on, it has to go somewhere. It goes out of us and it goes around us. And, uh, and it causes sometimes like noises, things banging, cupboards opening, doors knocking, toys turning on. That's like a big, big, big thing that we hear about is, um, is toys turning on, uh, which is neat. Um, but, but how? How is it happening? Well, possibly um, you are accidentally causing these things to happen. So um, poltergeists are really interesting. And they're definitely something to look into if you want to start kind of researching ghosts and stuff. Poltergeist, I would consider one of the more um, fascinating types of hauntings to study. So the fourth one would be inhuman hauntings. Now, most people think demons when you say inhuman, but inhuman could mean anything. This could mean the spirit of an animal coming to visit you. This could be your spirit guides. Um, animal guides, it could be angels, it could be demons. I mean, if you believe in demons, um, not everybody does. So if you believe in angels, but this would be anything that isn't a human haunting or um, like residual. So if you're visited by your angel guides, then you've had um, an inhuman spiritual experience, which is kind of cool. Not a lot of people understand um, a lot about inhuman hauntings, and we've actually never come across um, what I would deem a demon or um, an inhuman entity that's sticking around that didn't just kind of pop in to check on somebody or something like that. Although we have had some um, spirits, some animal spirits that have been around, so I guess that would kind of count, but. Um, it seems like they just kind of do their own thing, so I don't know. But um, but if you had a, an animal that passed away and uh, and you experienced it coming to visit you, or you felt uh, you felt your your cat rub on your leg after they had passed away, then you have experienced an inhuman haunting. So not necessarily a bad thing. Um, I personally would be much more open to an animal spirit visiting me than an angry human spirit visiting me. So, um, so that's, that's kind of it. It's actually like really, really basic, really, really simple. But when we go into, um, a location, these are, are kind of generally the four types of, um, of hauntings that are, are common, that are reported to us, that are described to us. And, uh, and I'd say the most common of all is likely a residual, um, followed by poltergeist activity. So um, poltergeists aren't as scary as, as people think or as movies would have you believe. So that's kind of, that's kind of it. Those are the four most common types of hauntings. And I super want to hear if you've had any kind of experience um, with any of these hauntings. I want to hear all about it. Um, especially the inhuman ones. I'm very curious about those. And uh, yeah, otherwise, I guess I'll be back on another day with another video about something totally different. Okay, thanks guys. Bye.